fresh divisions have rocked the Raila Odinga leaders Mueller Umoja, One Kenya Coalition, following the release of the National Dialogue Committee NADCO report on Saturday, even as information emerged on how the Coalition Council Chairman, former President Uhuru Kenyatta, made frantic attempts to scuttle the talks. This came even as President William Root on Sunday promised to implement the recommendations by the committee. William Ruto said, I want to congratulate all the teams that have come up with the recommendations. I have seen the recommendations. They are good. All the recommendations are practical. We are going to work on them to reduce in areas they have recommended, he said, at Priesthood Fellowship in Kahawa, West Roy Sambu. The president urged MPs to robustly discuss the report as he suggested the recommendation on cut in travel and per diem budget was the committee's biggest score. All those recommendations are okay where they said we lessen government spending by 50%. I have done that already. The calling for lessening to be done by 30% in terms of travel. I suggest that they increase it to 50% for Kenya to move forward we must learn to live within our means he said among the recommendations agreed upon by the team are the creation of the post of official opposition leader with the two deputies and then sending the prime cabinet secretary office into the law other proposals by the team included evaluating the 2022 electoral process expanding the IEBC's election panel extending the period for presidential petitions from 14 to 21 days and cutting the government's travel budget. But even as the president endorsed the report, divisions emerged within opposition ranks with Azmio deputy captain in the last election, Kenya leader Martha Karua and her DAP Kenya counterpart Eugene Wamalwa taking a parallel position. They insisted that they cannot be part to something that does not take into account the suffering of Kenyans. They said any purported agreement that does not immediately impact on cost of living, electoral justice and respect for multi-party democracy is a fraud on the people and must be rejected, Martha Karua said on Twitter. Mr. Wamalwa, who sat in the talks co-chaired by Kalonzo Musioka and National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani Chungwa, also insisted that he will not be part to the report. He said, I didn't and I will not append my signature to the NADCO report and have not and will not accept any seating allowance for the same because I believe we did not do justice to the single most important issue to Kenyans, that is, the cost of living, Eugene Omalwa said. Speaking to us on phone from Busia County, Eugene Amala said he believes the committee had let Kenyans down. He said, we have let Kenyans down. My conscience cannot allow me to append my signature to the report and I equally decline to receive my allowances because we have not met the expectations of Kenyans, Mr. Amala said. Yesterday, when uh, we established that former presidents will former president Uhuru Kenyatta's shadow was looming large in the brazen position taken by the coalition's leading light with highly placed sources in the coalition revealing disapproval of the talks by Mr. Kenyatta over the cost of living matter. Uhuru made a frantic effort to scuttle the talks twice in about two months recently, Uhuru convened as Mio leaders to discuss the bilateral talks. Both meetings have been held at Raila Odinga's home in Karen at Uhuru's request, a highly placed source told us. He revealed that a month ago, Mr. Kenyatta convened the Azmio leadership to be briefed on the progress of talks at the meeting. He expressed strong disapproval of the talks, preferring that Ruto be put under indes pressure, but it was not clear what he wanted the pressure to achieve, the source said. 
We also established that the former president who chairs the coalition stop decision making organ, the Zmio Council, had last Friday convened another meeting and argued that Azmio should walk out of the talks over two issues cost of living and reconstitution of the IEBC. A member of the Azmio team in the talks also disclosed how Mr. Kenyatta's strong stand on the matter left others with unanswered questions. The source also said there is a bit of disquiet in that the former president may be seeking to use Azmio in his shadow war with William Ruto speaking in Dongo Town, Migori County. During the launch of 4DM party registration exercise, Mr. Odinga said that he had received the NADCO report but was however yet to go through it he said he could not comment on it before going through the document jubilee vice chairman david Murade yesterday pointed out that no matter the shortcomings of the report the public should have the opportunity to decide on its implementation he noticed that they were also concerned that the issue of respect of multipartism has not been fully addressed mr Murade noted that matters already enacted into law such as the house levy and VAT and fuel are executive decisions and the opposition cannot tell a government in power how to deal with the issues. He pointed out that the report does not address all the key issues affecting Kenyans but its alternative could be disruption and instability. In a last night media briefing, the NADCO team said he had sent the reports to President Ruto and Mr. Odinga. However, they indicated that there was no agreement on the scrapping of the housing levy and reduction of VAT on petroleum products from 16% to 8%. Do you think Ray Lodinga is betraying Kenyans once again by working with the government? Many people are speculating that maybe Ray Lodinga in the near future will be going to the government because Raila just accepted the NADCO report and some of the people on social media and some of the comments people are saying that Raila is just a mouth for hire and not surprisingly Uhuru is using him to gain or to get a Ruto but if the project failed when the drunkard was in charge what about now when he will no longer wield any powers some say one of the things that kenyans are not sure is whether Raila Odinga will approve this NADCO report or Raila Odinga will stand with Kenyans. Remember, Raila Odinga uh, during, during in 2017, before going for handshake, he was in a fierce fight with Uhuru Kenyatta. But Kenyans were shocked when Raila Odinga shook hands with President Uhuru Kenyatta. And then, right now, do you think Raila Odinga will dine with William Ruto? Or Raila Odinga will stand with Kenyans during this high time. Remember, Raila said that if the talks will not go as planned, they will go back to the streets for Mandamano. For now, keep subscribing.